about 15 years ago, I visited for the first time National Institute of Justice uh, Research Conference. I saw the opportunity for uh, novel bioanalytical tools uh, which are well known in the research field, but not yet in practical forensics. Police use uh, biochemical tests for identification of uh, uh, body fluid traces. These tests are specific to a specific body fluid, and they are, of course, uh, time and labor consuming. We are developing a universal test, which is non-destructive, can be used at a crime scene, and uh, this is uh, practically will be automatic uh, identification based on automatic software, which uh, we will develop and implement. The basis for our technology is Raman spectroscopy. We developed a spectroscopic signature of all main body fluids and machine learning allows us uh, to detect and identify these spectroscopic signatures for uh, body fluid traces on uh, common substrates and uh, differentiate them from environmental interferences. In the near future, we are going to expand this technology for cell phone type instruments or portable instruments which can be used at a crime scene. In addition to identification of body fluid traces, we are also working on the development of new methods for detection and identification of gunshot residue, which would allow to identify not only inorganic, but organic gunshot residue particles. And there are several reasons why it's advantageous relative to current methods. I've been involved in the development of the novel stain analysis technique right from the beginning. It started with an invitation from Dr. Igor Lednev to visit his lab at SUNY Albany. And after that tour, we had a discussion on what technologies he could bring research and his students could work on. The technologies we currently use are decades old, but very proven chemistry methods. The downsides of those methods are that they consume samples or they use up sample and they're not very specific. The advantages of this new technology are twofold. One, they provide much more quick analysis that is much more specific. The other advantage is it's non-consumptive, which means it does not use up the sample, which allows us to do a lot more with it when we take it back to the crime lab, such as then DNA analysis and bringing that objective scientific information to help our investigators solve crime. That's what we're all about at the Crime Lab. Supermetric is currently in the stage of prototype development, where we're actually creating the product that we will eventually sell to Crime Labs. The next steps to commercialization for Supermetric is validation. So we're going to be working with a number of different institutions to have our prototype sent out tested to show that we're a reliable and consistent method for body fluid identification. The University at Albany has been a huge supporter of our commercialization. The Research Foundation and Tech Transfer Office have been instrumental in ensuring the growth of Supermetric over the last two years. And the University at Albany is also home to the Innovate 518 Incubator, which helps support startup companies like Supermetric. University of Albany um, has a very good program to support faculty and students to take their ideas and take it to the market. The first part is that we help in taking ideas that are unique and help them patent them and see if there's a potential for them to make that into a product. The third thing we do is we help innovators on the campus in the process of starting a company, uh, helping them creating a business deck so that they can go and pitch their ideas and try to get some money. And so all of this effort, we do that as well. 
at the University at Albany, the commercialization of research projects and the ability for um, what we learn to actually be placed on the market, if you will, is a, is a transition that we're supporting in every facet and in every way possible. And so the, this work here has that potential to have global international impact. And I think that that's what's really important to us. So we support the commercialization because we want these things to happen as quickly as possible in the safest and most effective way possible. Research and development, since we are doing it at uh, university, everything what we achieved has been actually done by uh, very talented and productive uh, students training the next generation. I'm very proud uh, to say that six of our graduates work for New York State Police Crime Laboratory now, and I'm thrilled uh, to have this opportunity to bring the results of our research and development uh, to real field to help police uh, and crime scene investigators and eventually to help to improve life of our people.